Hello folks, today we'll talk about salary of a pharmacist in Norway. This topic is considered like a secret, nobody talks about it uh, because I think it creates problems for some people. But let's uh, have a look at uh, salary and packages for a pharmacist in Norway. So, on average, uh, a fresh pharmacist earns about uh, 25 to 26,000 krones uh, per month after taxes. Uh, and before taxes, uh, it's around 37 to 39,000 krones. So the rest uh, goes in your taxes and uh, at, the, at the end of the month you get only like 25 to 26,000 krones and about the expenditures so uh, as you all know that Norway is uh, an expensive country to live in but uh, if you are earning in Norway then it's like uh, easy to manage but if you bring your money from other countries like uh, UK or United States or uh, anywhere else so uh, you will end up uh, nothing in your hand after a month spending here because of the high expenses and uh, rents so in this 25 to 26 thousand crones uh, about 12 to 1500 crones goes to your uh, car expenses or if you don't have a car then about uh, 1000 crones to uh, bus service uh, because you need to buy a monthly bus pass uh, in order to commute to your job or uh, the shopping centers or the grocery stores so just consider it if you have a car like 12 to 1500 crowns goes there and about uh, six to nine thousand crowns goes to uh, your rent uh, house rent and uh, which makes it like if uh, you if you have a 25,000 kron salary and you cut down 1500 krones then it's like 23,500 krones and after cutting down the house rent which is about seven to eight thousand krones so I'll count it uh, 7,000 krones, which makes it like 16,500 krones. Now in this 16,500 krones, uh, you need to eat something and uh, the eating costs for uh, per person as, uh, as Asian. Uh, the grocery a whole month grocery uh, should be around three to five thousand crowns I'll cut down four thousand of it which makes it like uh, uh, sixteen thousand five hundred minus four thousand turns into twelve thousand and five hundred crowns now of this, of this 12,500 krones, uh, you need to buy something like uh, shopping, buying shoes or uh, clothing or uh, uh, mobile expenses, the mobile phone that you need to top up. So that's around 3,000 krones and uh, finally you have like uh, 9500 krones in hand uh, 
just count it to 10,000 crowns in hand so that's uh, that's the salary that a pharmacist earns in Norway as compared to uh, Gulf countries uh, in Gulf countries you earn about on average you earn about 6,000 uh, reals or maybe 8,000 dirhams and there uh, those countries are uh, more cheaper than Norway so there uh, the accommodation is uh, general uh, generally speaking uh, is provided by the boss so you didn't so you don't need to pay for your uh, accommodation or you get uh, compensation for uh, accommodation uh, in addition so uh, if you earn about 6000 reals there then it's only the uh, food expenses uh, that you need to pay for and that should be around uh, 2000 reals uh, which makes it uh, like 4000 reals uh, in hand and if you do shopping like uh, once a month so ca you ca you can like um, spend about 1000 real on shopping and that makes it like 3000 reals uh, with you in hand that you can save or you can send it to your home country yeah so that was all about uh, salaries uh, but the big difference is uh, duty hours uh, here you earn that much or you save that much money uh, with the less duty hours but uh, in Gulf countries you save that much in uh, with a long duty hours about 9 to 10 hours a day but here you just work for uh, 6 to 7 hours a day and uh, in Gulf you don't have holidays but here you get like uh, two days off uh, in a week so that's uh, a plus point for uh, for doing job here or settling down here in Norway uh, and I guess like uh, Norway is uh, much better uh, in terms of uh, duty hours and work ethics uh, than uh, nor uh, than uh, Gulf countries but for some people Gulf countries are better than Norway uh, because in not in most cases but in few pharmacies uh, you get problem with uh, with colleagues or uh, with the boss so if you are working uh, in a, in a tense pharmacy where uh, where the employees or the or you, your colleagues uh, you're not comf comfortable with them so that makes it like a bit harder for you to work here as well so a good thing is uh, try to move from uh, from a place where there is like uh, uh, a tense situation uh, to work in but uh, in in Norway you can move easily after you uh, even before you get your permanent uh, permanent residency but uh, in Gulf because of uh, the kafala system uh, it's too hard to move to another pharmacy or to find another job 
uh, because uh, you are bound to work with your own kafil and if uh, kafil agrees to let you go then um, then it's okay you can move but in 99.9% cases uh, kafil won't let you move and you have to work uh, there until you leave the country and uh, f and come back with mm -hmm. another visa so that's a plus point with Norway you can just pack your things and leave a uh, application that I'm um, resignation letter and the whole process is like you by law you need to uh, send your resignation letter to your boss three months before you leave the job and in those three months you need to find another job for yourself uh, finding jobs are easy here once you are once you have the license the permanent license as a pharmacist because there are many jobs here in Norway for now but I don't know of the future so yeah that was all about uh, uh, salaries in Norway and Gulf countries so good luck guys